uh, this is a video of connecting the Promat AC to a really old plasma cutter. The well, first thing you need to do is remove the power plug. There are very hazardous voltages inside it, so please do that first. Now you need to locate the torch wire, which is the long thick one, and it's located here. That is the torch wire, the main wire that goes to the torch. These two here and here are ignition coils. In my case, I tried, not to, I didn't connect it to the main torch wire since it would be hit by 20,000 volts every time the torch switches on. And these are the coils that do that. So I connected it here, as you can see. This is a minus wire connected to a wire that is connected under it directly on the output for the torch. And the plus wire, the plus wire is connected to the relay to the wire, a white wire with a yellow connector. And that is the actual plus wire on the underside. Since this is an old plasma cutter, it doesn't have electronic regulation, so it uses resistors inside. So in my case, I had to connect it directly to the minus, and not through, through the resistors, so I didn't connect it to, to the ground wire. I connected directly to the uh, output. That is basically connecting the high voltage side. Be careful, this is very dangerous stuff. So first remove the power plug. Don't do anything while it is on power. On the other side there are signal wires. You need a transformer, whatever, since it has a wide range of power requirements. It can do anything from, from 7 to 35 volts. So these are the two black wires. After that, you need four wires for signaling and one as a common for arc OK up and down signals. These are connected here, as you can see. The COM is a common wire which is connected to the minus on the breaker board on the computer, on the electronics for the CNC control. The red, green, and blue wires are signals up, down, and arc OK. The other two wires are used to connect the torch firing or torch on. These two wires come from a machine control from a relay. They need to have a relay. Finding those two wires is a bit difficult in my case. I was lucky. It has a connector for it, so 
it wasn't very hard. In most of the cases, you have a torch firing switch outside or at the torch itself. In my case, I didn't have it, but this one has it. So there is a torch fire switch. You can use the two wires that come here, as this was the case in my earlier version, or you can connect it here, as in the bigger one. Let's go to the breakout board. So, this is the relay that fires the torch. The torch on the relay. It goes to that, those two wires. The brown and white that are also on the plasma cutter. This is the breakout board, the other three. The whites, red, green and blue, they are connected to the breakout board inputs. The white one, or in my case, turned to yellow, is the ground, and the other three are input signals. You need to find out this breakout board has active low or active high inputs. You can select for each input if you need it to be active high or active low. And that's it. Then software. I'll do another video for software setup and installation. Thank you.